What is going on ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm David Got Kicks. welcome back to a brand new video. Now if you guys are watching this video because you guys are like me and you just hate with the passion, hate painting that Jordan 1's Wings logo, then this is a perfect video for you. A lot of my previous customs when I've done a Jordan 1, I just left that Wings logo untouched. I just said, you know what, see ya. And you know why, because one, I don't have a steady hand, you gotta have so much patience just to paint that Wings logo. Sometimes it takes more time to paint that Wings logo than it does to paint the whole shoe. Am I right? And number three, I just didn't want to paint it just because it took so much time to do. But you know what? It's okay. We got this. We can do this. This video is gonna inform you guys on everything you guys need to know about painting the Wings logo, such as paintbrushes. I've been seeing on Instagram lately when someone posts a video of them painting the Wings logo, the first question they get is what kind of paintbrush is that? Because people are always wondering where you can get the precise paintbrushes. This video is right here and it is perfect for you guys so yeah without wasting any more of you guys' precious times you guys can do me a favor hit the like button I would really appreciate it that way this video can get out there and this video can help people who are in the same similar situation as you but yeah let's go all right you guys so in front of us is the Air Jordan 1 custom Chicago 1 Air Jordans that I have been working on for a good buddy of mine I'm at the part of the custom where I need to do the wings logo but what exactly do I need to do the wings logo hmm I'm going to answer a couple of the most common questions and I'm going to give you guys all the information that I know. So I'm about to unleash all of my Wings logo knowledge on you guys. There might be another customizer that uses another technique, but I'm going to let you guys in on everything that I use and everything that you guys can potentially use to make your Wings logo look a little better. First things first, you guys want the proper brushes. The smaller the brushes and the finer the tip, the more detailed you can get on the logo. This is the micro detailed paintbrush set from Angelus Direct. It comes with five brushes and two of the main brushes we're gonna use for this custom come included in this set. So this is one of the main brushes that we will be using. This one is a size zero round. Just look how small and precise that tip is. I know a lot of people that whenever they work on a custom, they bring out a fresh paintbrush. Just look how small and narrow that is. Perfect for any detail. So this is the first brush. I'm gonna go through the brushes really quick and then I'll show you a tutorial on what they look like once you use them. All right, so let's go through these paint brushes one by one really quick. This one is a zero shader. Not really so much for detailing logos, but you can still get small areas. This one is a zero filbert, similar to the other one, but the tip is a little more round. This one is a zero angular. So this one will come in handy whenever you're working on small corners, cause you got that angle to go inside. And then you already saw me talk about this one. This one is the zero round. And this is the other brush that you guys will be using from the set. This one is a zero spotter. So this one has a smaller tip and it's not as long as the other one and it is perfect for detailing. Here's a quick comparison of both of them together. Zero round and a zero spotter. And I believe you guys can purchase these individually, but like I said, I think you guys are just getting the bigger bang for your buck if you get the whole set. These two are pretty much it. I use some other ones as well that I'm gonna get to, but just these two alone can finish that Wings logo. Angelus Direct also does carry this other set of paintbrushes and the only brush that I would recommend for detailing if you wanna get small. So this is the round two no Sean Witherspoon but that's one brush and these next two brushes do not come in a pack but you can buy them individually this one in my hand is a round one and as you can see it is a little smaller than the round two there's a quick comparison super similar but just the round one is a little smaller the smaller size the brush the smaller the tip is and last but not least of the brushes that I do use this one is a 20-0 I don't know the correct terminology for that this one is another micro detailing brush and this one does not come in the pack as well but you can buy it separately for about two dollars and fifty cents and like I mentioned this is how all of the paintbrushes come new the more you use them and depending on how you take care of them they will flare out a little you just got to make sure you take care of them very well here's another quick comparison of all the brushes laid out together hopefully you guys can see the names on the brushes that way you know what size is what so it looks like the 20-0 is the thinnest but it is I feel like it's kind of hard to use not hard to use but you need to make sure you have a steady hand and if your hand shakes like a 9.0 magnitude earthquake whenever you're trying to paint something then it might be a little difficult to use at first but once you guys get the hang of it it's gonna be second to walking or talking or breathing breathing yeah breathing so yeah hopefully this gives you guys a better understanding on the proper paintbrushes you need to use not just for the wings logo but whenever you're doing some detail you guys can go ahead and screenshot this if you want to use it for reference for the future or whatever we interrupt today's program to bring you guys today's sponsor, Skillshare. 
Skillshare is an online learning platform where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including photography, video, graphic design, business, and much more. Make 2020 a year where you explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity with Skillshare's online classes. What you find just might surprise you. The monthly subscription price for Skillshare is $19 a month or $100 a year. That's less than $10 a month. But if you guys want to go ahead and check it out, they're giving away two free months if you join through the link in the description down below. Maybe you guys want to learn more about photography. They have tons of photography classes. Maybe you guys want to learn about Photoshop. With over 17,000 classes, I'm sure you guys can find one that really suits you. But like I said, if you guys want to go ahead and check out Skillshare, I will leave a link in the description down below. They're giving away two months for free, so you guys got nothing to lose. Go and explore your creativity. All right, David, thank you. Back to the video. But yeah, without wasting any more of you guys' precious time, I know, like I said, this was a more informative video, but let's go ahead and paint that Wings logo. The first brush that I'm gonna use is the Zero Round. So yeah, let's go. This is a perfect example right here. While you're working on the Wings logo, it's not gonna be perfect. You're gonna mess up. You're gonna accidentally slip off sometimes, but it's okay. It's not the end. All you have to do is get the original base color, paint over it, and then repeat the process and try again. It's gonna get frustrating at times because there is no way to really speed this up. You need to go slow when it comes to painting this logo. If you guys try to rush this, then it's not gonna come out that pretty. And even right now, looking at the Wings logo, it doesn't look as good as I want it to be, but it's not the end. We still gotta keep going back and forth doing little touches here and there and that's just something that I do trying to make this look as factory as possible Back at it again with the black hoodie looking like I'm a floating head. Thank you guys so much for watching this video And if you guys have made it this far right now would be the time to hit the like button Comment something down below and let me know what you guys did think of the video Hopefully this video helped you out a little bit if not it will help you out in the future Once again, thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video And if you guys want to go ahead and check them out I will leave a link in the description down below if you guys want to go ahead and check out any of the classes that they have offering But yeah guys until next time it is your boy David Guy Kicks talk to you next time for the next video Peace